very difficult to speak sometimes because your jaw is on the floor. Um, because there are, you know, I'm, I'm star conscious. There's Judy Dench and Michelle Pfeiffer and Johnny Depp and Willem Dafoe. And, uh, you, you know, it, um, and there you are acting with them. It's a great, uh, great rather scary at first. Um, um, and uh, part of me thinks, I hope they're as scared of me as I am of them. Um, but then it's, it's been wonderful because getting to know each other, getting to work with each other, trust each other, have fun with each other, that's another of Ken's great, great gifts. He allows his companies to have fun. Be serious, do it properly, but don't angst yourself to death. You know, there is something about that tangle of strangers pressed together for days with nothing in common but the need to go from one place to another and never see each other again. What makes, I think, makes Ken a um, very good director, like other um, good directors I know, um, he's been an actor. He is still an actor. Um, the, the, the number of balls he keeps in the air is just mind-blowing. Um, but I've always admired his uh, ability you know, to, to be able to uh, perform um, and then cut himself off and look at himself objectively. I remember when we were doing the film of Hamlet, for instance, he would do to be or not to be, rush to a monitor, watch himself doing the speech, saying, no, I need another one. Going back, doing it again, coming back, look at it himself, objectively enough to be able to say, no, I can do that better, do it again. Um, I find that ex extraordinary. I, I, no way could I do that. Uh, but with the director's hat and the actor's hat on, virtually one and the same time, um, it's quite amazing to see what he does because his eye and his mind um, are everywhere at once and he's performing and he's directing. I see evil on this train. A passenger has died. It will thrill people, um, thrill them in the sense of th being unexpected. I think they'll come thinking they know what it is, um, but I think their expectations will be heightened and I think they will be surprised. And who are you? My name is Hercule Poirot and I'm probably the greatest detective in the world.